Hi Beach Bums. So my calendar today told me that today is National Gardening Day. And I, do you hear that sound right now? You can't see it, but I bet you can hear it. What does that sound like to you? Our tower garden is here in my house. And I'm so glad that it is because it's gardening day and it's cold outside and I'm not really feeling like gardening outside. So we're going to do some gardening inside. Um, a bunch, if you remember before spring break, a bunch of our plants um, needed to be taken out and moved and some of them had gone bad so we had to toss them. Um, so I had a bunch of empty ports and I just now got my new stuff in and so I'm ready to plant some seeds. Y'all want to help me? Okay. So. I have been soaking, if you remember, we had to soak the rock wool first, hope you can see that. Um, so I took out some of the water from the tower garden tank and I soaked all of our rock wool pieces in the water. And so I'm just going to take these out and put them in my little blue tub here. That's where I'm going to hold these guys while they start to hopefully sprout. Okay, almost got them placed. This is a great time of year to do some gardening um, because it's spring. Also, it's a great time kind of in our world to do some gardening because it's kind of hard to find the stuff you need at the store right now. So why not just grow some of your own? So we have some lettuce seeds that we're gonna grow because I know that lettuce grows really well in my tower garden. And then I also have some other seeds that I want to try out. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna kind of pull everything I have and we're gonna go from there. Okay, I have some little baby watermelon seeds that I have heard will grow in the tower garden if you put them on the bottom port and I do have an empty port on the bottom. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do a couple of little baby watermelon seeds in here. So um, this is what the seeds look like. I'm gonna open them up in here. Woo! I only want a couple, come on. And I'm gonna pour them all out. I'm just gonna put two in each port. Let's see if you can see how big they are. Okay, not super big. They're for the little, sh they're called sugar baby watermelon. Okay, and so I'm gonna put two in this one and two in this one. And then do you remember we had to put this stuff on top? The vermicite, I think is what you call it. Just a little pinch here, and a little pinch there. Maybe a little more. I really can't see this very well in the tub, can you? You know what? Let's do this. As we do it, I'm going to take it out of the tub. Let me see if I'm going to check the camera, see if you can see that. Nope, so we're just going to bring it down, and that might mean you might see more of, less of my face, but that's okay. All right, that should do it. Okay, so, I, so that I don't forget what is where, I'm going to put the package, well, oh, I left it over there. I'm going to put the package of the seeds next to the thing so I don't forget which ones go with which plant. Okay, so there's our little baby watermelon seeds. Let's also do, hmm, do you think some strawberries might work in a tower garden? Why not? Let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of strawberries. I'm just gonna put, let's see, and these guys are teeny, teeny, teeny. Okay, like that's a whole bunch of seeds right there. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a couple little pinches here and let, let you see close up how small the seeds are. See, look like little bird seed, but those are our strawberry seeds. I think I'll do three of those. Okay, so we've got a little pinch in here, Whoop. a little pinch in here, and a little pinch in here. And if some fall on the table, that's okay. I'll just clean those up later. 
Okay. And we'll put a little vermicite. I hope I'm saying that right. That would be embarrassing if I wasn't, but a little vermicite on top. Do you remember what this is for? Because normally plants need soil to get their nutrients from, but do we use soil on the tower garden? Mm -mm, they get their nutrients from the water. But when we're planting new plants, as they're sprouting, they have to have something to push through or they don't grow as strong. And so this kind of acts like the soil to help make the stems and branches really strong. Okay, now, mostly what I wanna do is lettuce because I know that that works super well in my tower garden. So I'm gonna do several lettuces, okay? I think we'll do some, this arugula was spicy. I didn't actually like that very much. So we're not gonna do that spicy arugula. We will do some romaine. And let you see what those seeds look like. See, look almost like little sunflower seeds, sort of, okay. Do some romaine here, here, whoop, whoop. and here. And I have a few different kinds of romaine, so I'm gonna use what I've got. So I've got three different kinds of romaine. To see what the if they look any different on the seeds. I think they'll look a little bit different. <laughs> oh, there's one open. There we go. Oh, they, this one does look a little different. The ones I was just putting in had some dark and some light. These guys are all light. So there's the romaine seeds for this package. Let's see, did I do three? Yeah, here, here, and here. And then I think I'll do three more romaine because I have this one. This one's called Little Gem Romaine. You think it's gonna be a little bit smaller of a plant. I wonder if the seeds look any different. I think they actually look the same. I don't know that I think they're any smaller. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Maybe they're a little smaller. Sometimes the size of the seed has to do with the size of the plant, but sometimes that's not necessarily true. Just depends. I think these might be a tiny bit smaller than the other romaine seeds we just did. Okay, so there's all the romaine, and I've got five little rock walls left. So, I did not like the spicy arugula. That was not my favorite. Um, here's just some plain lettuce. Let's do that. Two, three of those. And then we'll do something a little more fun for our last one, okay? So this is a lettuce seed. This is called Black Seeded Simpson lettuce. So what color do you think the seed's going to be if it's called Black Seed and Simpson? Yep, they're black. Now put a few in here, a few in here, and a few in here. It's our Black Seeded Simpson lettuce, okay? And you know what I haven't been doing is... <gasps> I said vermicite, but you know what? It's not, it's vermiculite. I knew that didn't sound right. It's verm, vermiculite, I think, is what this stuff is. So it just takes the place of the dirt, not for nutrients, but it takes the place of like the structure that the dirt usually provides, the soil usually provides. So this is great because on the online learning that our district has provided on the website um, this week, in science you guys are learning about plants and so we're gonna do some real life stuff here because plants are totally my like my favorite thing in the world maybe besides reading books um, and so I want to give you all some real life experiences with plants not just the the curriculum that you know you don't want to just read about plants let's just actually do some stuff with plants yeah okay I have two rock wheels left and I would like to experiment with something that I've not tried to grow in the tower garden before. Does anybody know what that is? It's cantaloupe. And I've heard that sometimes they do very well if you can get the lighting right. And now, 
do you think the seeds for the cantaloupe, look at how big the plant is. If you've ever seen a cantaloupe, they're pretty big. And think about lettuce. What do you think the size is gonna be? Let's check it out. Okay, they're pretty big. And I'm just gonna put two in each one because I don't wanna overload it. And the only reason we do two is because sometimes one doesn't really take. All right, now I'm gonna put my extras back. I guess I left it over there. Yep, I'm gonna put my extras back so I can save these to plant another day. And I might grow some of these in my outdoor garden. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so I'm gonna put the last of the vermiculite in. And then what I'm gonna do after I turn off the camera is I'm gonna put all of the, these rock wool cubes into um, the little net pots, what we call them. These guys, whoop, remember? And, and I'm just gonna keep them in this blue tub. And I'm gonna put them on top of the tower garden base and let them um, hopefully sprout out. And as soon as I see sprouts, I'm gonna take them from the blue tub and I'm gonna put them into the tower garden ports and we'll just see what we can do. Thanks for gardening with me today. Um, I think, because even though I said it was too cold to garden outside, I do wanna show you what's going on in my outdoor garden since we are in National Gardening Day. So I'm gonna, here's our, here's where we got, I haven't eaten on the kale for breakfast. I've been putting it in my omelets. It's pretty yummy and we've been eating the, the um, lettuce, we've been harvesting that for our salads, but you see we've got a lot of empty ports here, so we're gonna make use of those. I'm gonna throw some shoes on and take you on a little garden tour of what we got going outside. Oh, it's still chilly, but not as bad. Okay, so my flower beds are right here and they're getting a little bit overgrown. We've had a lot, a lot of rain. Um, we have some plants that are called perennials. Those are plants that come back. So like plants always die when it gets too cold and not this kind of cold, but like, like in the winter time or after, like after the summer's over and the fall gets here and the plants naturally have a life cycle. And some plants, once they die, they're dead and that's it. Other plants come back every year as long as you don't dig up the roots. And so everything in my garden here is perennial, which means it keeps coming back every year. It doesn't just last one year, it lasts many years. And so some of these are weeds that I need to take care of, but a lot of these are beautiful plants. In fact, we have some fruit growing here. These guys with the little white flowers are my strawberry plants. And you'll notice we've got some little baby strawberries growing. Here's one that just, oh, where'd it go? There we go, it just bloomed out of the flower. Right, The flower falls off, the petals do, and then out comes a little tiny green baby strawberry, and they get bigger, and they turn red, and when they're red, they are ripe and ready to be eaten. And what's crazy about that story is that in Mrs. Brandon's garden, what that usually means is people don't eat them, birds do. I have a hard time keeping the birds away from my strawberries. Let's see, I've got one here. Yep, something's already been eaten on that one. But it did turn red, it was ready. But I've got a bunch that are that are gonna be ripe soon. So if we can catch them in time, this guy is cool. You can see that he's just starting to turn red, the little buds. So we've got some cool stuff going here. This is a perennial plant. I don't remember if this one's gonna flower or not, but I didn't plant that this year. That just came up because I planted it last year, which is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna come over, come over here to my vegetable garden, to my raised beds. I do have sad news for you. Our giant tomato plant did not make it. Remember how I said it was in soil shock and it should come back? Well, it didn't. I think we kept it out of the water for a little too long before we had the flower bed, the vegetable beds ready. So I got a sad empty space there that I'm gonna have to plant something in there. But you'll notice I planted, is the, do those leaves look familiar? Those are some more tomato plants ready to grow. Look what's growing here, you recognize that? The cilantro, yep. And we've got some sage. I think we're gonna have some basil soon. 
We've got some other little bitty sprouty sprouts that I'm not sure what's what here because Mrs. Brandon did not remember to label them this time. I will not make that mistake again next year. We've got, I think these are peppers. I want to say because those look like pepper leaves. Um, we've got a little bit of lettuce here. Got something there that I don't know what it is. Ah! Note to self, always label your plants. And if you remember, I planted around the vegetable bed. In each of those little squares, I planted um, flowers. So none of them are blooming yet, but they are. Ooh, we actually do have some blooms right here. That's going to be pretty. It's yellow. Um, these are wildflowers that are really good to attract bees and butterflies and um, hummingbirds, which are pollinators. They're the guys that move the pollen around, which helps our stuff grow. Okay, this guy is taken over. Do you remember when I showed you that when these plants were just barely starting to bloom? I think, and some of you guys who are, your parents who are maybe more experienced gardeners than I am will know, but I'm pretty sure these are gonna be some sort of squash. Nothing has bloomed or sprouted out any sort of fruit yet. We're gonna keep watching it. But we've got some delicious green leaf lettuce growing here. It's gonna make some great salads. Um, I don't know what this is. Mr. Brandon thought this was spinach and he ate some and he said it tasted like spinach, but I ate some and I didn't think so. So I don't know, we'll have to see. Sometimes you just have to eat it and hope for the best because I know that everything I planted in here is okay to eat. It's not something dangerous that we wouldn't know. These are gonna be green beans. They got a little sun scorched which happens sometimes, their, their leaves are getting a little brown, but hopefully they'll still give me some good green beans. I planted those a lot all the way down there and only some of them have come up, so it could be that those seeds just weren't that good. And we've got more pollinating flowers around the edges. So we've got a lot growing here in my backyard garden. And these plants are getting everything they need outside, which are, what do plants need to survive? Do you remember? They need, what comes out of here, do you remember? They need water. This is my little watering spigots. They need sun, are they getting plenty of sun? Oh, sun's over there, yep. They need soil, but what do they need from the soil? They don't really need just the soil, they need the nutrients from the soil and they're getting lots of good stuff there. And they need space to grow. Now, do you think I maybe overcrowded these guys here a little bit? Yeah, I might have to prune some of those down and, and trim some of those branches so that they have plenty of space to grow. But my plants are getting everything they need to grow. Are plants living things? Yes, they are. They sure are. I wanna show you one more thing that I don't remember if I showed you the last time I was out here. This is my compost bin. You remember how I said you get nutrients from soil? Well, one way that people get nutrients in their soil is they do something called composting. And so this barrel here has a lid. Let's see if I can open it without spilling it. And it's gonna be yucky, are you ready? It's a bunch of food trash. Some of it's moldy, gross. We've got some oranges, we've got leftover salad stuff that we didn't eat, we've got some mulch in there. Let's see what's on this side. I think it's gonna be more of the same. Yep, some of it sticks. Um, Mr. Brandon is really good at figuring out what needs to go in a compost bin. And so this, sorry, let me show you. This guy, it's really cool. You, he turns, so you can turn him and help kind of stir up all the stuff. And that will eventually break down into some really good fertilizer soil stuff that I'll put in with my plants. And so that will help my plants get the nutrients they need. So when we eat food at our house, we try not to waste the trash. There are certain things that can't be composted, but if it can be, we use it. All right, let me see if I can... No, nope, I'm just gonna have to turn around and hope you can see me. It was fun gardening with you today, and I hope you have a lovely Tuesday. Bye-bye.